Do you mind? Let's talk about these things right here. So, if you're watching this, you probably know that this is a fingerboard right here. Teak Tuning Prolific Deck. Very freaking awesome. So, I've been fingerboard for about five years now, and a lot of people ask, how did you get started, or how do you get started with fingerboarding? The easiest thing that I can tell you starts with this little thing right here. It's called a tech deck. It's all right in terms of like actual doability, um, but this is what you're gonna need to start. It has everything, it's cheap, it's awesome. They work great for when you're starting. So that's awesome. I do not believe that they make this uh, 30 millimeter decks anymore. I think they move to the 32. 32, which is even better for fingerboarding um, because that's what like the smallest real fingerboards are. Uh, they still have the uh, sandpaper type grip, but they added more turnable trucks. So you can see like here, how these trucks are turning versus on one of the older decks where, where they don't really turn at all. So then once you did that, I would recommend looking for like a cheap deck. So you can get decks or completes. So you can get like them like pre-built or you build them yourself. Right here, this is one of the decks I started with. This is actually the deck I started with. It's a P-Rep fingerboard and I got two of these because I really liked them. Uh, but then I moved on to something a little more advanced and uh, better. Teak tuning right there. Uh, go to Teak Tuning, please. They're so freaking awesome. Love them so much. Go there, get some fingerboards for it. Uh, you can start making your own. Like I made this one. It's an old school deck. It's like just go to that. It's simple features. Just start cheap with like little tech deck things like this. It's it'll help you so much more in the long run, especially with things like quarter pipes. Like they're so great and they're so inexpensive for learning. Then uh, you can move on to like your obstacles, like my rail. Uh, and my picnic table, which is like wood, real metal. It feels so nice when you're just like going on it. It's awesome. Go, go do that. But yeah, so that is how to get started fingerboarding. Uh, if you want to watch a video on how to set up a fingerboard or how to just get like into that, go check out that video. Thank you guys.